know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Most exciting man in boxing. Man in boxing, led the flare cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfella from Sports TV. Bomb squad, baby. All right, man, let's give the ladies the honor of kicking off our video today. Amanda Serrano uh, came up short versus Katie Taylor. Uh, make sure you got girls and guys thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video, right? So um, check out my women's boxing playlist and the fight women's boxing playlist for more videos like this, and you know, in the fight reaction playlist. Um a lot of people said Serrano win. I heard anybody, you know, having Taylor win, having Serrano win. At the end of the day, it's, you know, it's it's the flavor that you're looking for. You know, I think Serrano, you know, let her off the hook. You can blame it for two minute rounds, but they've been fighting two minute rounds. I thought the biggest women's fight and it exceeded the expectations, and it could have furtherly, furtherly exceeded expectations had they allowed them to fight three minute rounds and. Most people think Katie Taylor probably would have got knocked out in that scenario. Now, I can't say for sure she would have, but I believe in the sixth round, um, you know, there was some trouble there. And, you know, why, you know, Kaylee Taylor survived and why Serrano, you know, who, who moved up and, and moved up and wait, why she didn't have more success, why she didn't stop her, why she didn't close the deal. And at least win, and she should have won a wide numbers decision because she left her 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 right jab at home. Now you can't just walk down people, especially somebody like Katie Taylor. And she was hurting Katie Taylor. She was looping around the guard with Katie Taylor. Um, uh, she yeah, she was looping around the guard. She was countering her. You know, usually those usually those straight shots get there first. You know what I'm saying? And in that situation. You know, a lot of times her looping shots was beating Katie Taylor's, or they were more effective than Katie Taylor shots. And you know, it, it, you know, it, it, you know, you know, uh, you know, like I said before, it was effective for the here and now. And then, you know, when she didn't use her jab, you know, she cut the ring off, you know. She cut the ring off well, but, you know, how she used the jab, it would have enabled her to double and triple up on them body shots and enabled her to to really, you know, blind Katie Taylor with a shot. And you know, when she would have blind Katie Taylor with the jab, then her her left over the top would have, would have been more effective. And she left her jab at home. And when you pressure somebody, you definitely should 100% jab. <laughs> That's what I recommend. You definitely should 100% jab. And, you know, she didn't. And you want to know why she lost that fight? You know, it was 97-93 a travesty? Absolutely. To the naked eye, I didn't score it. To my naked eye, I had it. You know, I thought she won to the naked eye. But then again, I thought Gary Russell beat Mark, you know, Mayoxo. You know, and he didn't beat Mayoxo. So, I mean, was 97-94 super wide? Oh, yes. It just should be investigated. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, Katie Taylor down the stretch, you know, Serrano output slowed down. Katie Taylor was able to get her second win. She was able to get her second, uh, you know, she was able to get her 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 her, her second life in boxing. From, you know, you want to credit that to the two minute rounds, you can, but they've been fighting two minute rounds. So I can't blame it on that. Got to blame on Amanda Serrano for letting her off the hook. How can you lead the most important bunch in boxing in the locker room? She left that jab in the locker room. That was the difference between her losing and her winning a, a, a decision, you know. And Katie Taylor movement wasn't affecting her at first, but Katie Taylor able to get that second win on the back half was the difference. That that was the difference. Her able to get that second win on 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 the back on the back on the back end of that fight was a wrap. Then, you know, Serrano got tired. She slowed down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
you know, she slowed down um, in the whole nine. So, you know, they, you know, they ain't really, they ain't surprised me. Because we ain't using that jab, man. That jab could be the difference between losing and winning, literally. That's what it could be the difference between losing and winning. And right now, you know, she lost. She lost. You know, and that was on her. If she would have picked that damn jab up, then she would have been she would have been able to to double and triple up her work. You know, one body shot here, even on the elite level, people got to understand one body shot here, one shot here. You know, you get up here in the upper echelon, you know, with elite fighters. You know what I'm saying? She should have been doing that a lot more, doubling up, tripling up, throwing a heart. When you get up here, man, one shot is not going is not is not going to do it. One shot is not going to knock elite fighters out usually. Now, you got some guys that's just special. Some girls that's just special. But Serrano, she can punch, but she's not one of them. You know, she need to keep that jab working. That jab would have worked. She would have been able to put three, four, five shots together, and she would have been, she would have got a, t a one, one by knockout. She would have literally won by knockout. Now, had Katie Taylor survived that in three minute rounds, Serrano probably would have got knocked out because she looked tired. So, you know, it's a double, it's a double edged, it's a double edged sword to what we're talking about. She probably would have got, she probably would have got tired. You know, when she let her off the hook, that's because no jab. And when she didn't jab, she couldn't double up stuff. She couldn't put shots together. Now, jab, you know, everybody look at it as, you know, you see Triple G throwing it with power. You see, um, you, you see, you know, a lot of guys throwing it as a power punch. But the most effective thing about it is it blinds the opponent. It occupies the opponent. So then instead of landing one shot while they occupy the jab, now you can land two, three, four, five shots, you know. So she left the jab at home. What Katie Taylor did was well, she was in great condition. She got her second win, and when she got her second win, it was pretty much wrapped. You know, she fought through adversity. This is what champions do. This is what undisputed champions do. She fought through a cut. You know, she fought through getting hurt to the body. She was constantly getting hurt to the body, but she still moved. You know how hard that is to take body shots and still be fresh in ten round in the tenth round, no matter if it's, you know. Two, two, ten, two minute rounds, or, you know, whatever it may be, eight rounds, that's tough. And Serrano, you know, she ain't got nobody to blame herself. You know, and she fought for, well, great tonight. I thought she won to the naked eye, and I have to go back and score it. But she she lost this fight herself, but you leaving her jab at, leaving her jab in the locker room. She, she walking her down without a jab. And she was just looking to counter Katie Taylor and, and work outside of what Katie Taylor was working. And it was working for a minute. But you know what? Great fighters make adjustments. And Katie Taylor made an adjustment, and Serrano never, you know, Serrano just couldn't, you know, her workload couldn't carry. When she started moving, and she could no longer just cut the ring off without a jab, when she started moving and causing problems and tagging her, you know, that come from a product of not using the jab. You know, and that, and that cost her women's history, and she lost. It cost her. It cost her big time. So it is what it is. Katie Taylor wins. They probably gonna have to do it again because financially it makes sense. The crowd was amazing. The fight was amazing. It exceeded the hype. And had Serrano got that stoppage in the sixth round, it probably that, that stadium probably would have blew the top off. And you know, outside of that too, um, in the rematch, it's fight for three minute rounds. I'm not sure Katie Taylor gonna sign up for that, but uh, it is what it is. Great fight, best women's fight that I've seen. Um, you know, period, you know, so lived up, exceeded the expectations. And that's what you look for. Action pack, um, skill, you know, and the two minute rounds make it look amateurish because you got to throw a whole bunch of punches because you ain't got that long of a time. So the three minute rounds, I think you're going to, I think you won't, you won't see that pace even for 30 minutes, 10 minute rounds. So I was also thinking 15, two minute rounds, you know, still less than the 36 minute rounds. It's only still, you know, you know, it is what it is. So uh maybe that, you know, 
Maybe that, you know. Well, that's a little bit more. My bad. That's 40. So I think, I, well, you know, still, you know, still 36. You know what I'm saying? Well, still, you know, you know, just chopping it up. Maybe it make it more intriguing going 15 too many rounds. You know, going four more than the guys. Just chopping it up in increments. But I don't think they're going to do that. But, hey, checking the women's box playlist out. Check my re reaction playlist out. And I reacted immediate reaction last night. You can find that. And the women's in, you know, uh, Fire reaction playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live or drop a video. Uh, appreciate the love, support everybody showing the channel. One time for the one time, good fellow TV. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Um, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live, drop a video. I want to financially support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Uh, appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Peace.